Hello, welcome again to another video tutorial with me, Christopher Tormis. This tutorial is not about Photoshop. This tutorial is my one of my special tutorial for you, for those who love to create your own um, video slideshow presentation. Now I have here some of my video presentation or slideshow of my image that I have been created last day. And so far, this is the, my new video that I have created using the software. And as you can see there, it's very good and interesting. This is the uh, graduation pic. So that's it. You might think that this uh, slideshow presentation is difficult to create but you think you might think that oh my god how how did he do that well actually just just that's just only a software that I have I am using in what what we call the pro show producer for it, it is a new version of the pro show producer and um, and it's very hel helpful for me to create my uh, my customized video presentation. So, first thing is, I'm going to show you how to do that. So, first thing is, open your virtual producer. You can find it on the internet, or you can buy it through internet. This is what they call the virtual producer for. And after you've launched the application over here, now I'm going to show you some of the basic in animating your picture so before that I would like to introduce you the interface of this application on the upper corner this is what we call the um, menu bar and this one is also the options that you can see here you can play all that you can explore and this one also here the folders you can you can see that this is my folder over here and whenever I change the folder selected anything that inside of the folder will be show here on this box here as you can see here a lot of uh, pictures of mine so I'm gonna go back to my uh, folder which is this one and as you can see here it automatically load up all the image inside of that folder and what we're going to do is create our new slideshow so first is you're gonna go to new and this one a new slideshow dialog box will comes out and it will tell you what is the name of your slideshow for me I'm gonna name it sample at this time because this is just tutorial and then the aspect ratio this tells you what would uh, your 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 screen or your video will look like it could either be a widescreen, a TV, or a custom. But for you, if you wanted to put it on the YouTube, I think you must go with the widescreen because YouTube nowadays uses the widescreen for aspect ratio of the, the video. And most of the TV screen today is a widescreen. And uh, this TV is other option that you can use. But for me, I'm going to stick with a widescreen and I'm going to hit the button create. After you've done that, you can now be able to start with putting the picture. After you put it, a pic, uh, you see the picture over here, you can simply click, for example, this one. You can see the previous picture over here, which I have also here in my, my deans and my classmates. So what we're going to do is just simply click and drag and drop it in the first um, empty uh, this one box here and it will automatically loads up what's once you've done that just simply double click this one over here this box or you can simply go to go to a slideshow option okay that's it the slideshow option or double click I'm gonna prefer in double clicking so that hindi kayo makakamali so after you double clicking it this will comes out whenever it is one hour uh, at this time I am in the caption mode so sometimes it is in the effect layer 
slide and sound now under the sound there is a sound effect under the caption there is a caption motion and catch caption setting under the effect there is an adjustment effect and motion effect over here the layers there are three under the layer which is called the editing and then the video setting the layer setting and then the last one is the slide there are three also the background the setting the slide setting and then the slide styles but for now what you're going what I'm going to show you is the how you animate the bot that's what I am promised under your slide option over here click on the slide styles and you can see here this is our the slide style um this is my slide style over here and it is very um a lot of my there I have a lot of uh, slide style over here I have uh, 209 of 301 styles so actually the default styles would be something like 20 Raman Siguro or no I just only add the slide you can buy it on the internet to add more uh, slideshow style on your pro show it is an add-on kasi yung, yung iba so after you've done after you've done selecting uh, setup we are now ready to select what kind of animation you would like to to um, to see on your photo. Now, as you can see here, this is what we call a moving backdrop. If you try to click on that, you can see the previous look of your image as it turns out. If you click on that, again, you will see the previous of what will be the look or the animation of your photo. And once you are once you are um, satisfied with the uh, with the uh, effect, you can now simply click apply. But wait, before clicking apply, there is one thing that you should uh, uh, see. Any, uh, as you can see here, there is also uh, says one. This represent this one is color blue, and the uh, you might think that this this one is. Um, not in the color blue this number over here that means that this one is suitable for this layer over here because we just only have open one layer one layer na siya so meaning applicable ning mga na ay mga one 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 meaning ang kanisya nga style can be used in one picture or one photo only so this one also here wala siya na blue because it needs six photo layers inside of your layers over here so so i hope you understand uh, about that so i'm gonna go ahead and click apply and click ok once you've done that it will automatically generate for you wala ka nang gagawin pa or i i i i i ano pa i i modify or touch anything you can now preview it by just clicking this play button here and then that's it that's very very easy to do and once you've done that you can now be able to click OK to apply your modification on your slideshow your first slideshow how about the multiple layer well this is how you do it you can right click on the second uh, slide and simply insert blank slide once you've done that, double click this slide too so that it will load up the option or slide option. And now, click this plus button here. It says that you can add image or video. Just click this one and find your image. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and click this one. And you can add another picture this one also here let's add another picture now you cannot hold down your control key and selecting the other picture because you can you must select it or open it one by one so let's try to use the advancing so as you can see here anything goes in the gray color because hindi siya compatible with this type of uh, multiple layer which is three so wala tayong nakikitang blue also here so let's try to put up more three so that applicable siya sa advancing na sla na ano 
<coughs> sa, sa advancing na style. Add again. And lastly, this one. <coughs> so after you've done that, it will automatically go into blue, meaning that uh, these layers are qualified to apply this advancing effect on your uh, slideshow too or you're in your second slide so once you've done that just click over here and you can see the previous look or what will be the look or the animation of your photos so I'm gonna go ahead and click apply and click OK and that's it it will automatically generate or make your own uh, it will automatically create uh, animation for you just simply click preview to play so that's it as you can see there now click OK if you're done that and voila now this one over here this AB this represent the transition of the slideshow from the first slide one to the second slide one now this one this amount here represents the 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 timeline or the the amount of time from the first slide to the second slide that's what this one to uh, this one means so it is a three a three point zero second so let's put this one in just one second lang siguro so that it will automatically it will automatically um yeah it's uh, it's that so that it will make it more faster in transferring from another picture so this one here if you click the a b here the transition you can see a lot of transition effect if you move your mouse over here you can see the previews how it looks like and also this one you can choose a lot of the transition over here and if you are contented with that just simply click and apply your transition so again let's preview and that's how it does So that's very easy tutorial for you so that's it for now the next tutorial will be how to put caption on your slideshow so once again thank you for watching and this is Christopher Thomas and uh, see ya